Hi, my name is Case Ford. I'm a welding instructor here at Tulsa Welding School, and today we're going to be welding a 3G MIG combo vertical plate. All right, so we're going to be doing what's called a bridge tag here. We're going to have about a 1 8 gap. That way we have good, solid penetration. We're going to tack it on one side first, and then we're going to let the plate cool, the tack cool off, and then we're going to tack the other side. Here we go. All right, we got our first tack. You want to wait till it cools off a second for the heat stress relief. All right, we're now going to pick up our plate and make sure that it's nice and even and that our gap hasn't changed at all. All right, so that looks pretty good. We're going to tack the other side now. All right, now that we got our plate prepped and ready, we're going to set it out here. We're going to put a nice solid tack here. That way the plate doesn't move around and jump around on us. All right, so with the MIG root, it's a little tricky. And a lot of people don't realize this, but you have to actually weld the root from the top down. And uh, you can't really weld it from the bottom up because it's, it just doesn't work that way. So we're going to start at the top and work our way all the way down. There's going to be no wire manipulation. So we're just, we're going to rest our nozzle right here in the bevel and we're going to bring it straight down. Just like that. I got my uh, machine settings at CB and um, I got it set at 16.7 volts and my wire speed at 180. I have it a little higher for the root pass. Normally I would run it at 16, but I have it up a little higher so we got good root penetration and won't have to worry about that coupon breaking on us. So I'm just letting the puddle actually follow me all the way down. What's called leading the puddle. You don't want to get, you don't want to move too fast because if you move too fast, then that puddle will actually stay behind and you're going to leave it in the dust. You want to slowly drag it down and let it follow you all the way down. Oh yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. All right. So we're going to break it down and see how we did. Oh yeah, we got solid root penetration. It looks good. That's what you want right there. That way whenever you go to cut out your coupon, you have no worries about that thing bending whatsoever. Nice and solid, great penetration. So now we, now we have our root put in. We realize that it's nice and good. We done checked the back for 100% penetration. And so we know it's good. If you see right here in the middle of your root weld, there's a little faint line there. And if you look real closely, that faint line lets us know that we got good penetration through and through. So whenever you guys go out into the field to take a weld test, you know, you won't have no problems with that coupon bending whatsoever. Thank you for watching our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. If you would like to get some more tips and tricks and become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, then click on our link. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.